the other day, posted his picture, done got him a new suit. I knew it was new. Posted itself on, on, on Facebook and just proceeded to talk about everybody else that don't do things like he does. Are you a footstool? Are you a bridge? If we don't see that, look, the Church of Christ, look, we used to brag about two million. We have two million people. And that wasn't nobody. That wasn't. But now our numbers have gone down to 550,000. Revelation said it's going to be a number no man can number. I can number that. <laughs> and, we, and, and we're not asking why. We keep doing the same things in the same ways. And I hear them criticizing Seamster. I hear them criticizing the school. I hear them criticizing down there. I've heard some folks say, uh, ain't nobody, them kids down there now, most of them ain't even in the Church of Christ. Well, Negro, the Church of Christ quit having babies. And when you did have, we didn't send them here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So what? So what? Dr. has done is that he's thrown a, a wider net. And can you listen? Do you think? Look, is everybody at Baylor University a Baptist? Is everybody at Notre Dame a Catholic? How in the world does a school survive if all you're gonna do is cater to this limited amount of people? So it has, it, 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 it had, to, it had, to, but they criticize. They, you know, they, 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 I'm glad he got a tough hide. Because I told him, I've told him in personal conversation, Doc, you couldn't have gave me the Titanic after it hit that iceberg for nothing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you going to drive the boat, Doc. I'm with you. I'm going to jump home with you. Now that you got it running. But, 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 but to take it after it doesn't hit that iceberg, that's a horse of a different color. Are you a footstool? Are you a bridge? <laughs> you, 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 got, it's, you got to be either one or the other. James, James says that a criticizing spirit will tear a church up and rot it from the inside out. When, when we don't have the spirit to forgive, after God done forgiven us. And you know, he, he ain't, and the thing is, he ain't had to forgive me just once. Because I'm, look, I, I'm, I'm a professional messer upper. <laughs> didn't nobody, look, didn't nobody have to send me, my mom and daddy didn't send me after I left Southwood, they didn't send me to the University of Sin so that I could learn how to sin. Because there's something innate in us that makes us sin. And, and sin, that we categorize it, but God doesn't. You know, there, there's certain things we don't want in the church. She's this, he's that. I told my, my church family this morning, you know, they're, they're, you know, they were talking. Now, one day we had a, a you know, young lady who was obviously uh, advertising herself uh, to be lesbian. And so, you know, looking at her crazy, like, no, 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 look, y'all. See how quiet it done got in here? <laughs> and, of course, I made the mistake of calling her a he. And um, one of my young ladies said, but, 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 you're confused. It's a, it's, that's a, it's a girl. I said, well, look, don't look like I'm the one that's confused, but okay. <laughs> But, 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 but we accepted her, and somebody said, well, why did you do that? I said, well, we got some fornicators in here, and I ain't kicked them out. <laughs> I said, I got, we got a whole bunch of lies up in here. I, 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 I ain't put them out. I have folk that have done a whole bunch of stuff, but y'all want to talk about this sin as opposed to that sin. Some of y'all raised hell. I've been your preacher for 42 years, and you've been raising hell with me, all 42 of them. 
You think you going to heaven? You think that ain't a sin? You think I don't pray to God? God is so sick of me calling your name, he don't know what to do. But he has assured me he's going to take care of you because it's in his word. Are you a footstool? Are you a bridge? Another part of our divisive spirit. We gotta, it's time for us as the church to be intellectually honest with ourselves. There are things that we know that we have taught. Mm. There's a rat and some cotton in here somewhere. <laughs> There's some things that we know that we have taught that when we learn better, we didn't do better. And that's part of the reason many of our kids, they, they can't deal with the de deceit. They can't deal with the dishonesty. It's nothing wrong admitting that we saw that point wrong. We taught that wrong. Sometimes we don't even ask questions. Some of y'all look at me, I want to know what you say we do wrong. Well, I ain't here to give you a list. We ain't got that much time. The first thing was a critical spirit that James is talking about. But from that came a whole lot of other doctrines that we created ourselves. And we held people to them. And we didn't ask no, we told folk, we used to get up, I was like, I heard the old preacher say it, so I do it. I wouldn't preach a gospel, I couldn't question. What we didn't say was, as long as you ask this set of questions. You ask some other questions, then we'll label you a heretic. What's wrong, y'all ain't gonna let me get back, come back no more? <laughs> we, we. We got to be intellectually honest with ourselves. And man, what brother about you? We, we want you to go back to preaching like you used to. Well, 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 Why did I used to preach? He said, we used to call for a scripture. Somebody would read it and you would quote it. Oh, you talking about get for me? <laughs> get for me, so and so and so and so. Get for me, so and so and so. Get for me, dump, 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 dump. And, and, and then I began to inquire, well, now, no other churches do that. We do, why, do we, why, do, why do we do that? And you know why we did it? Because the old preachers couldn't read, but they could memorize. They, 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 could, they could memorize. So they'd have someone else read it, and they would confirm it by memorizing. I, I did it because, but I saw y'all do it. <laughs> so I was, I was preaching 30-something years. I was, I was still across town at North Tenaha, and we were baptizing folk. And um, one person we baptized, she said, Brother Bell, can I ask you a question? I said, yes. Why do you do that? I said, why do I do what? Well, why do you call for a scripture, and somebody starts reading it, and you quote it faster than they can read it, and we don't understand anything either one of you are saying. <laughs> she said, and the only ones that seem to enjoy it are the other Church of Christ people. And so we want to know, is, there, is it something we're not getting? Is it something we're not doing? Because we're the ones, preach, boy, preach. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong in, in, in the quoting of Scripture. Because we all learned to memorize when we were at school here. And, we, and, and we, it, it, we were taught to memorize, and it's good to have. I'm thankful for it. The only thing is, now there's so many other versions. If all you know is the King James Version, Brother, brother Farmer taught us that, he taught us that this was a, that's the, that's just the poorest version of the Bible. He told us that. It was dead English. Nobody talked like that anymore. He says, if you want to study the Bible, you got to get out of the King James Version. I tried that at my church one time. Boy, it was almost an insurrection like January 6th. <laughs> had, had old ball hit him. I'm I'm, you can read what you want to read, but I'm going to keep the Holy Bible. <laughs> Are you a footstool? Are you a bridge? I mean, how is it going to be somebody? I, I know somebody saying there's some terrible things happening 
in the Lord's church these days. Well, I'm glad. You call it terrible, I call it a time of testing. It's a time to reprove ourselves. It's a time to get some things right that we got wrong. It's time to apologize. It's time to correct ourselves. It's time to stop sending everybody else to hell. Do you not know that ain't your job? And when I, and when I realize it ain't my job to send you to hell, no matter how many times I tell you to go, that really ain't my job. I ain't after my boss's job. And I'm free with that. I, I, you know, I don't used to be you walk in a place and they know, they know that you, they know that you're a member of the Church of Christ. They start backing up. And I'm a little man. What you backing up from me from? It's because we gave God a bad reputation because of our critical spirit. So James says, cleanse your hearts. Wash your hands. Humble yourself before God. Submit to God. It's not easy to criticize when you submit. When you humble yourself, it's, 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 when you realize everything that you aren't. Oh my goodness. Look, I know we preachers have egos. I got a big one. My ego bigger than I am. I, everybody has an ego. But your ego has no business overshadowing Christ's community called the church. Let's be a bridge to young people. Let's be a bridge to these young preachers. They, I'm proud of them. They, smart. they went and they got their degrees and that will be respected for. Does it make it perfect? No. But like, like the brother I was sitting by talking about, he off on that point. How many school, years of school you got? He said, I, I graduated high school. I said, so you know more than this educated young man knows. Why? I'm in the church class. I, I wasn't aware that they gave you supernatural educational power. Where did I miss that? I should have learned that here. <laughs> that you know more than they know simply by marriage. You had 12th grade education. Maybe went two years here. But because you're in the Church of Christ, you know more than the theologians. I'm just saying I just lived 60 miles up the road. I know how to get back. <laughs> Something's wrong, y'all. And it's time for us to have the honesty to ask why. And then have the courage to change it. This school this school, I'm so tired of, look, I, I, I can criticize it because it's mine. You can criticize it because it's yours, but you're not criticizing it more than you work for it. You know, this, 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 this is a new day. And I, 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 I call, and I, or, or Dr. Seems will call me sometimes, and I, you know, he said, you know, I know he calls so I can make him laugh or something. I told y'all at the start, I like to talk about people. But, uh, but I, I, you know, I, told, I told him, I said, who knew that God would use COVID to save this school? Who, who knew that God would use, because look, when, these, when COVID really came out, the University of Texas and Texas A&M and every other university, they were having pure D hell trying to keep their campuses safe. But, and I told him, I said, you got a little campus outside of a major metropolitan city and people can once again feel safe about sending their children. I feel better about sending my grandchild here than some state schools. 
I said, who knew God would use the pentagon of, of, of society to impact the success of Southwest? And he's doing it. I said, he's doing it. Because now, I'm doing, I guess you might have to thank the Republicans. <laughs> who, who knew he'd use a Republicans to save, to save it like this? But when they, when they started chipping away at the affirmative action and the, when they just chip, you know, you, you can yell if you want to, but the good thing to do, you look over and say, well, now look, we had one of our own all the time that was safe, that was nurturing. Why can't we keep getting behind that? Why can't we invite other people to know what the Southwestern dream is all about? And, 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 and what it means to be, because I know that when people leave here, they're different than they leave even Prairie View. Yes. They're, 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 they're different. I don't even remember the folk I went to high school with. Uh, they told me they had our 50 year reunion, they want me to come back. I don't know y'all. <laughs> I looked at some of them, was I in school with y'all or your children? <laughs> <laughs> Last high school reunion I went to, I, I promised I wasn't going back. I looked and saw those that were voted most beautiful. They are not anymore. <laughs> You've been to yours, you better go to yours. It'll really lift your ego. <laughs> I, I went to mine. I, said, I, 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 Roy, I was one of the finest people there. <laughs> those that were voted most likely to, to succeed didn't. <laughs> I, I don't even know, people see me, that Boucher, I was in school with you. We, one man told me, Boucher, we were in junior high, through high school together. I mean, Doc, I draw a blank. <laughs> I don't know you. But the ones I remember, the ones I still talk to, when I grow, I'm too old to dream. Southwestern, I'll remember. Yes, sir. All right, now y'all, I done talked about you. I done talked about us. Right. I've made us aware of some issues that we need to face. They're real, and if we keep acting like they're not, then in 20 years, a whole lot of church buildings are gonna be restaurants. Come on, let's stay together. <laughs> They're going to be restaurants. Make a, your, your building make a fine restaurant. Because it's not going to be anything else. Because we didn't answer the real questions. Are you a footstool? Or are you a bridge? Come on, Brother Pew. You can. I start, I start to sing my own song. But uh, no, no, I, I don't do that no more. I was, I was down here at Southwestern one year, little boy. Young man going to school here, he saw me and said, Brother Bowdry, didn't you run a gospel meeting at Mount Clemens, Michigan? And I said, yes, I did. My chest stuck out. I was on my footstool. <laughs> and, uh, and he said, you sure did sing good. So that's when I quit. <laughs> that's There's a fountain free, tis for you and me, let us haste, oh haste to its spring, tis a fountain love from the source above and he bids us all freely drink well now will you come come to the fire ten free oh will you come tis for you and me thirsty soul in the well come call tis a fire
mountain open for all well and will you come to the fountain free oh will you come tis for you and me the And tears of fire ten open for all. Amen. Can we give God a hand clap of praise for that powerful word? We thank you. We thank you, Dr. Boucher. You blessed our hearts this morning, and we thank God for you. Um, we are, at this time, we're going to ask if uh, Dr. Howie would come before us and raise our offering, and then uh, what will... Uh, amen, amen. <laughs> and we'll uh, let you know that there are baskets in the back, so as you exit out of uh, the back, you can, um, you can leave your offering uh, then, but Dr. Howie will come at this time. Audrey did an outstanding job, and we indebted to him for making us look in the mirror. People sometimes forget what the mirror is really for, but it really helps us see ourselves. We had a mirror in our building for years. The caption said, do you see a Christian? when you look in the mirror. And the people, everyone who came in, I, I would watch them, they would. And I told the brother, I said, it's time for us to take the mirror out. <laughs> They're not getting it. <laughs> but I hope we got it today. God has been good to us. He's blessed us in spite of us. And if you're grateful for God's goodness, we hope and trust that you will see the need to put something in the basket as you leave because you cannot beat God giving. Amen. And we're so grateful for his giving us an opportunity today to hear a word from him. We're going to say a word of prayer as we pray. Think about all that God has done for you give you an opportunity to be here today to hear a word from the Lord and be blessed. Let us pray. Eternal God, we're so grateful and thankful that once again you have blessed us. Father, you blessed us in spite of us. And because we have been blessed, help us to be a blessing to somebody because you are so good to us. You woke us up, started us on our way, allowed us to come and hear a word from you. Thank you, Father, for your messenger. Thank you for the message and help us to examine ourselves and see what we need to do to be a better people in the kingdom, a better servant most importantly, one who knows how to give, what to give, and when to give. Thank you, thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Howard. Just to let everyone know, uh, we're going to prepare to dismiss looking forward to seeing each and every one of you again as we celebrate Founders Day uh, in the gymnasium at 2.30 p.m. today. So Founders Day will take place at 2.30 p.m. today in the gymnasium. And if you um, 
are curious about any of the lectureship schedules, you can go online to swcclectureship.com. SWCCLectureship.com. It has the detail rundown of all of the uh, sessions. The entire schedule for uh, the entire lectureship can be found there. And so uh, after we dismiss as well, if you need to register, there will be someone in the, uh, in the, in the hall here that will assist you with registration as well. I uh, just want to make sure I'm not overlooking any announcements at this time. All right, if not, let's stand, and then we'll prepare to dismiss. Jesus, you've been good to me. Oh, Jesus, you've been good to me. So good to me, say it again, Jesus, we say, Jesus, you've been good, so good to me, oh, Jesus, you've been good to me. You've been good to me. You've been good, ever so good. You have been good, so good to me. Let us bow. To our God, we bow at this time, God, and we thank you. Uh, we thank you, O oh God, for this worship experience we were able to take part in, Father. Thank you for your presence. We thank you, O oh God, for your word that came forth, and we thank you for your manservant that brought your word, O oh God. We ask that you would bless them, Father, that you would keep them, that you would continue to prop them up on every leaning side, God. And Father, we ask that as we go forward in the furtherance of this, uh, of our time together, Father, that you would just Continue to do what you do, and that's be the great God that you are. Help us to recognize you in the things that we do and in the things we say, and help us to be willing to give a kind word or a kind deed in your name, in your honor, for you are good and you're worthy. Bless us now as we prepare to dismiss ourselves from one another from this place, but allow us to always walk in your presence. We love you, and we thank you. We thank you for Southwestern Christian College. We thank you, O oh God, for our president. We thank you for the board, for the faculty and staff, O oh God. And we ask that you would continue to keep your favor and your hand upon this great institution. We ask all these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.